Hey guys, what's up? If you've not yet heard about this trend called icebergs, they are basically all about info and facts, with the tip of the iceberg being the most known info, and the bottom being the not most in info that hardly anyone knows. Don't worry, there will be not be any loud sounds or anything in this video, so you can put this on and go to sleep to it, or just relax and chill listening to Goosebumps news. Starting with the 90s TV series. Basically, there's a 90s TV show meant for kids that was on Fox Network, I'm pretty, Kids Network, I'm pretty sure, and some other ones. 2015 movie. Basically, this is referencing the 2015 movie and 2017 movie starring Jack Black as Arl Stein and all the mischievous monsters attacking the, the America. Basically, that's what these movies are about. Goosebumps the Movie and Goosebumps Haunted Halloween are the most popular. And the only ones. <laughs> Arl Stein. Arl Stein grew up in Ohio, started writing joke books, made Fear Street as more as more spooky thing, and then he started with Goosebumps. And here we are today, still with many Goosebumps series. Merchandise. Basically, merchandise, anything from haunted mask replicas, slappy dummies, or basically anything. Basically, just merchandise that either came free with a special book, or just you bought online. 2023 Goosebumps Show. This is basically referencing the Goosebumps Show that is on Disney Plus now. Check out my review of the first two episodes. Out now. Second layer. Now we're below the water. Song. The Goosebumps song by Jack Lenz is a popular Halloween song at this point. It was the original theme song for Goosebumps. Originally for the series, too. Spin-off series. Such as Series 2000 for the 2000s. Slappy World. Most Wanted. Hall of Horrors, Horror Land, and many more. Basically, it just came out after the original 62 books. Bright colors. In most Goosebumps books, you'll see Tim Jacobus used mainly bright colors in like the houses and stuff. Most some colors were dark, but most most colors, at least in the houses and stuff and such, were not. They were mainly bright. Scariest Goosebumps book. This is referencing not Haunted Mask, which many people think is the scariest one, but Welcome to the Dead House, which the creator of Goosebumps, Arl Stein himself, says was definitely the scariest one. Because then he says he didn't have the sense of humor in them as much. Slappy the Dummy. Originally, it was Curly the Skeleton that was the main mascot of Goosebumps. That slowly changed and warped, though, into Slappy from Night of the Living Dummy. Goosebumps was originally inspired by joke books. Like I said, Arl Stein used to write joke books. And then with his more dark and creepy jokes, came the idea for Goosebumps. And that is where the idea came from. For next layer. Freebies, bookmarks, etc. Basically, this is just all about those little things you get in the middle of your books, which I still have one that has all of them, but it's very rare to see one like that that has all the trading cards and things inside the middle of the book. Also, you can get them from, in other ways too, from the internet or from joining the fan club. Tim Jacobus, the artwork maker the artist, you could say, behind Goosebumps. Very cool artwork, and his artwork was featured almost on every Goosebumps book in all over the world, except in the UK up up till the book, The Horror at Camp Jelly Jam. But the UK made their own covers, which were known to be like Microsoft Paint level. They were pretty bad. Um, <laughs> but they are very scarce at this point, so if you find one, definitely pick it up. 
reprints. Basically, just reprints of, you know, the original series. And there's reprints of the newer ones, but mainly the original 62 books, there are reprints of. Every time you escape the Cuckoo cl Clock of Doom, you make a clone. I don't know if this is originally in the book since I have not read it. But I do know that in the original series, in the new 2023 TV series, one of the main characters, let's just say, spoiler alert, ends up basically just... Let's just say trying to escape the Cuckoo Clock of Doom, but he cannot leave. So he just keeps retrying and trying and trying endlessly, basically. And then eventually he finds out later that every time he tried to escape until he eventually escaped, he created a clone of himself. Then he took hostage. The Bissell House. This is referencing the TV show and the main house that this, all these horrors take place in. Monster Blood Green. Tim Jacobus, for referencing him again, when designing the Goosebumps books, never wanted red blood. So for Monster Blood, the book, he used green blood. Instead of red. Because, you know, that would deter customers, most likely. And it would turn people away from the main audience of it. Um, which is kids, teens, and tweens. And that would really turn them away. Anything, anyway, blood was more of a Fear Street thing. Legal issues. We'll get to more of this in a second. Slappy Magic exists. I have a Slappy Dummy. I don't want to cue the evil magic in him, but there are evil words that are used from, taken from dark magic, I am pretty sure. You can say, to bring your ventriloquist dummy Slappy to life. It's very scary. This is just an urban legend, basically, but... Every review on the internet of one, you, you're when scrolling through the reviews of one, looking for one on the internet, you were gonna see these reviews saying, Oh, it's running on my house, and I don't want it wrecking my room. That's why I'm not bringing it to life. Ghost Riders. This ties into the legal issues right above it. Basically, legal issues Arlstein had because people saying that he hired ghost writers because he produced the books so dang quick. People said that after, like, book 9 or 10, they were all written by by ghost writers, but this is most likely fake. The Haunted Mask, possibly one of the most famous Goosebumps books of all time, is based on a true story. Basically, um, it kinda is. Arl Stein's brother or son, I'm pretty sure, had a hard time taking off Halloween Frankenstein mask once, which is green and rubber-like, like the one Carly has in it. And yes, he tugs and tugs and pulls and pulls, and it just won't come off. This is why you always cuss slit in the back of your masks, kids. <laughs> basically, it just eventually came off, but basically inspired Stein to make this story. No first Slappy episode. Basically, this is referencing the original TV series with the Goosebumps episodes, Night of the Living Dummy 2, and there was never a first one. Basically, the original one features another dummy, which mainly causes it all the havoc. Second one's mainly about Slap himself. Basically, there was no first episode featuring this other character in the original 90s series. There was just a second one. Some people think that they originally saw it, like the Mandela effect or whatever. Oh, I saw it at one point. Yeah, he threw up and he exploded. He threw up monster blood or whatever. I don't know. There's lots of rumors. But we need to discover this, my Goosebumps fans and my Goosebumps community. We need to discover this once and for all. Find out if this is true in the lost media of it. Because there's lost media at this point. Disney attraction. Yup, they had a Disney attraction. A Disney show to be exact. Goosebumps had a Disney show featuring Slappy, Haunted Mask, and more. Werewolf and Mummy or whatever. Basically, it just featured these characters causing shenanigans on a live stage in front of hundreds of guests through its time. Unpopular R.L. Stein books at the bottom of our iceberg. 
why it's on the bottom, you might be asking, is because they're just very unknown to people. And that's why it makes it this low on the iceberg. Some of them being, like, the Goosebumps, Slappy's Tales of Horror, the Steinglers or whatever book that's most recent, the Beast, Horror at the Museum or whatever, and just some ones like that. Also in this category, I like to mention ripoffs, like M.D. Spencer's Shiver series, Betsy Haynes, let me see, Betsy Haynes series, um, her Bone Chillers and Tales for the Midnight Hour just kind of use the same idea with J.B. Stamper being the author. But that does it for the Goosebumps Iceberg. Let me know in the comments if I even have them on. Leave a like mainly if you enjoyed the video. But for Horror, this is ABC Halloween.